What's up guys? I'm Holden from Tire South and this is TSTV where we take you through everything you need to know about tires and wheels. Today we're taking it to a whole new level because I'm here to talk about leveling kits. A leveling kit does exactly what the name implies. It levels the truck. The factory suspension on most pickup trucks come with a rake, which means the front of the truck sits down a few inches lower than the rear. The problem is most of us don't tow or haul stuff in the truck bed on a regular basis. So we ride around unlevel for the vast majority of the time. So what the leveling kit serves to accomplish is to raise the front of the truck two to three inches, eliminating the factory rake and giving a level appearance all the time. Leveling kits keep the factory suspension in place so there isn't any change to the ride quality or driving characteristics that come along with a full-blown lift kit. They also allow us to get a larger tire underneath the truck, which, let's be honest, is what we're usually after anyway. There are a few types of leveling kits. Let's look at one of them called spacers. Spacers are used underneath or on top of the cool spring or strut in the front suspension system to raise the seat or the mount to level the truck. The cool spring or strut is the same, so there's no change to the stiffness or travel distance of the suspension. These are easy to install and just as easy to uninstall because we're making no changes to the suspension at all. We're just adding a spacer. Next, torsion keys. Torsion keys are used in independent front suspension setups with torsion bars. All four wheel drive Chevys and GMCs from the half ton to the one tons utilize this setup and have for a long time. The factory torsion keys are adjustable on these trucks and can be lowered or raised, but ride quality is affected and stiffen up the higher you go. The leveling keys are stepped in such a way that the suspension is raised without all the tension that comes with cranking the factory keys and maintains the suspension travel and mobility that is required on an IFS setup. Third, leveling struts. Leveling struts accomplish basically the same thing as the spacer lifts, except they are a total replacement rather than a spacer stacked on top of the OEM part. Bilstein makes a great leveling strut that is stepped at several intervals, allowing for a more specific and adjustable ride height versus the fixed height of the spacer. All right, so now that you know the differences between the kits, which one should you get? Well, there's a lot of brands out there, but for the most part, they're all pretty comparable. But here's a list of some of our favorites. With most full-size trucks and SUVs, a leveling kit will yield you at least a 33-inch tire with factory or aftermarket wheels. On some, you can even go bigger than that. On one-ton vehicles such as F-250s or 2500s, you can get a 35-inch tire with a leveling kit, especially when retaining the factory wheels. The new Aluma Duty F-250s, you can actually squeeze in a 37-inch tire with a leveling kit and factory wheels. Knowing all that, if you would like some personal recommendations on which one is best for you, be sure to reach out to someone at Tire South because we love helping you find what's best for your ride. So there you have it, everything you need to know about leveling kits. But in case you have any questions, contact us online or at any of our Tire South locations. We'd love to help you answer your questions and help you customize your ride to do your thing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on TS TV.